Today, we'll be looking at if there's a black hole in our backyard. If you're new to this channel, welcome! This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Astrophysicists have recently started hatching proposals to figure out how Planet Nine could be. What is an astrophysicist to do during a pandemic, but maybe dream of getting a private black hole? Though it might be wishful thinking, some scientists claim that a black hole might be hiding in the outer limits of our solar system. They've been debating all summer over how to locate it, whether it's there, and what to do about it, suggesting ideas that are just partially out of this universe. Speculation started back in 2016, when Michael Brown and Konstantin Batjen, astronomers at the California Institute of Technology, indicated that the peculiar movements of a few billion miles of ice balls outside Pluto may be indicative of a previously unexplained and unsuspected path out of the moon. According to the estimates, the planet will be about 10 times as large as Earth, and will hold an egg-shaped orbit that will carry it as small as 20 billion miles away from the Sun, several times the distance from the Sun to Pluto, and bringing it as deep as 100 billion miles away every 10,000 to 20,000 years. All we don't realise is where it's in orbit, which is too terrible, Dr Brown told the Times at the moment. Dr Brown referred to this imaginary entity as Planet Nine, which is abundant with symbolism. Not long ago, Pluto was called the Ninth Planet, but Dr. Brown's observations of other dendions of the Kuiper Belt, the domain of the frozen orbiting dirt balls that Pluto inhabits, played a significant role of demolishing Pluto to the dwarf planet 15 years ago. Needless to mention, no one has seen this thing through a telescope yet. Last year, another pair of astronomers, Jacob Schultz of Durham University in Britain and James Unwin of Illinois University in Chicago, suggested that Planet Nine could potentially be a black hole. Not just some sort of black hole, however. Black holes are the gravitational terrors anticipated by Albert Einstein's equations, structures so dense that even light cannot penetrate them, one-way corridors to ruin. Astronomers realise that there are certain organisations. The Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and the Virgo Observatory have heard black holes, the gravitational shells of dying stars collapsing, found together in the dim universe. Some cosmologists also propose that black holes could account for 25% of the mass of the universe and could represent the prominent and mysterious massive matter that defines the gravitational nature of what we see in the atmosphere. So you don't require a star to die in order to create a black hole. In 1971, Stephen Hawking, building on a concept earlier proposed in 1966 by the Russian physicist Yakov Borisovich Zeldovich and Igor Dmitrievich Novikov, claimed that extreme pressure during the Big Bang may have collapsed the matter directly into black holes. Such primordial black holes could be of any dimension, and they could be everywhere. A black hole as large as Earth would be approximately the size of a ping pong ball, and would be exceedingly impossible to view. War crimes no one wants to know about. No such main black holes have yet been observed, but their presence has not been ruled out yet. Dr. Schultz and Dr. Unwin found out that the Ogle project for the optical gravitational lensing method, located at the University of Warsaw in Poland, had observed the presence of half a dozen dark structures in the course of the middle of our Milky Way galaxy. Their gravitational fields serve like mirrors, temporarily amplifying the light from distant stars that they drifted in front of. These phenomena may be free-floating worlds, the writer said, with masses varying from half to around 20 times that of Earth. Yet they might just as likely be primordial black holes scattered around in the world, the astronomers indicated. If that is the case, the putative Planet Nine could well be a black hole too, in a remote orbit around the Earth. How to find a cosmic ping pong ball. That would make Planet Nine the closest black hole to Earth for several light years, so similar that humans could consider sending a robot probe there, just as Pluto and the Dumbbell Iceberg, now known as Arakov, have passed over New Horizons 4 billion miles from here. Although we need to search Planet Nine first, earlier this year, Edward Witten, a theoretical physicist at the Center for Advanced Research in Princeton, chimed in. Dr. Witten is a rare physicist who received the coveted Fields Award of Mathematics and is renowned, among other things, for his work on string theory, the notorious theory of all. Dr. Witten mentioned borrowing a trick from Breakthrough Starshot, a suggestion by Rue. Dr. Witten proposed sending hundreds of equally tiny probes out to both directions to study the solar system. Through keeping track of incoming signals from the spacecraft, Earth scientists will be able to see when and where either of them picked up or slowed down when they entered the magnetic field of Planet Nine or something else out there. The secret to this scheme will be the capacity of the probes to hold the Earth, pinching every hundred thousand of a second. 
In May, astronomers Scott Lawrence and Ziv Rogozinski of the University of Maryland recommended instead that the trajectories of the high-resolution radio telescopes be tracked, thus eliminating the need for high-precision clocks on the probes. All this is hopeful that Planet Nine will survive and turn out to be a black hole, Dr. Witten said in an email, and that science would evolve sufficiently to render an acceptable scaled version of Breakthrough Starshot feasible. In an email, his colleague Nima Akani Hamid, also a popular string theorist, called these concepts quite futuristic but very interesting. In May, Avi Loeb, chairman of the Harvard Astronomy Department and chairman of the Scientific Advisory Board for the groundbreaking Starshot Corporation, poured cold water on the daydream. In his own argument, he and Fiam Huang of the Korean University of Science and Technology claimed that the impact of friction and electromagnetic forces on the interstellar medium, the dilute electrified gas that wafts between planets and stars, would swamp the signal from any gravitational influences of Planet Nine. Yet Dr. Loeb has scarcely come across a science fiction sounding hypothesis or concept that did not impress him. He is widely established in astronomy circles for claiming that scientists may take seriously the chance that Oumuamua, the comet-like entity that breezed from outer space across the solar system in 2017, was probably an alien space probe. So, in July, Dr. Loeb was back, with a fellow, Amir Saraj, with a fresh project to search the Planet Nine black hole. If there is a black hole out there, they argued, it might periodically tear out tiny comets triggering light flares that might eventually be detected by the modern Varese Rubin Observatory, formerly known as the Broad Synoptic Servo Telescope, currently under development in Chile. The aim of the observatory, beginning in 2021, is to create a film about the cosmos, to generate a panorama of the whole southern night sky every few days, and to show something that has shifted or relocated. Such flares are predicted to occur a few times a year, they reported, our measurements suggest that the flares would be strong enough for the Vera Rubin Observatory to remove or confirm Planet Nine as a black hole within one year of observing the atmosphere with its LSST survey, Dr. Loeb wrote in an email. Moreover, when the Rubin Telescope explores such a large stretch of space, it might find or rule out black holes of comparable size all the way to the Uwe Cloud, an obscure and diffuse assemblage of proto-comets, and a primordial frozen riffraff a trillion miles from the Earth, they said. The possibility of discovering a dark hole in our own solar system is as shocking as finding proof that anyone could be staying in the shed in your backyard, Dr. Loeb said in an email. If so, who is it, and how did it get there? You want fries with that black hole? If the idea breaks out, it's not insane to believe that humans might contemplate sending a probe to research our local black hole. What does he learn? A high priority for many astrophysicists and gravity experts will be to evaluate Dr. Hawkins' hypothesis 46 years ago that black holes, considering their label, can radiate heat energy. About any astrophysicist assumes that the prediction, which is engraved on Dr. Hawkins' tombstone in Westminster Abbey, between Newton and Darwin's tombs, will be true, but has yet to be proven. The impact will be beyond minuscule for massive black holes like those reported by LIGO and Virgo, and hence difficult to distinguish. Yet, bigger black holes are cooler, and they're even cooler when they shrink and eventually burst. A black hole containing around six times the Earth's mass will have a temperature of around 0.04 degrees Kelvin. According to Dr. Witten, it's cooler than outer space, which is around 3 degrees Kelvin, and much too cool to test from Earth. It will be a struggle to calculate it from close up, said Dr. Witten, but it's not out of the question that it might be finished before the end of the century. He said, I assume that a spacecraft with significant mass will need to circle the object and research it in depth, not a flyby of a miniature spacecraft. In a talk at the Harvard Black Hole Project a few years back, Dr. Loeb discussed another option in the form of a field trip to a black hole. As he recounted in an email, because black holes provide an unusual place where string theory can be evaluated, I have suggested to my string theory friends that they reach the horizon of a black hole and try their theory there. Nima Arkani Hamid screamed from the audience that I must have a secret motive to drive string theorists into a black hole. Right now, the last term belongs to Dr. Brown, the advocate of Planet Nine, who, when hit, acknowledged that it was probable that Planet Nine was a black hole. But that doesn't make much sense, he said. It's also true that Planet Nine is a six-mass hamburger, I suppose. He said the positive news is that Planet Nine is very, very, really impossible to be a black hole so we will use probes like this to research it until we reach it. If you made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity and I'll see you on the next one.